Possum, let me yeah. ask you a question. Yes. Um, so upbeat, so energetic, so so positive. Um, now, is that a thing in Egypt, or is that you, <laughs> or what's the batting average? I had an Egyptian roommate for yeah. for a long time. Was he upbeat? Umgad Abu Zamzam. Still Excuse a friend. Umgad Abu Zamzam. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Umgad Abu Zamzam. Nice. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we were still friends. Uh, yeah, he was. Uh, and it was. It wasn't a comedian, but he liked uh, liked to laugh, yeah. and he was a sort Jovial. of sort of upbeat guy. And he's kind of a mechanical engineer, kind of whiz, kind of a guy. Well, I, I would love to say it's something Egyptian, but I have a lot of Egyptian friends who are very, very depressing. <laughs> <laughs> so. Didn't it variations. Seem, <laughs> didn't it seem like America's batting average of big laughers and sort of jovial guys? Like everyone had that uncle slap you on the back and make big stupid jokes all the time. I feel like we're Can't starting to slide down the other yeah. side a little. I don't know. Odd size laughs. Yeah. Yeah. Like big jolly mm. guys. I don't hear the word jolly no, thrown around. No chortling. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. you're Get afraid now to make that. a joke because you're going to be canceled. That's right. You're right. afraid right. to yeah. laugh at a joke. Yeah, it's going to be like non PC somehow. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, and it, we found that there's a lot more hand ringers. Mm-hmm. Like there used to be one hand ringer for every five big, loud, jovial backslapping mm-hmm. joker guys now i feel like there's 10 hand ringers yeah. for every loud fun mm-hmm. uncle yeah and they're judging you well yeah. i'm glad you brought up loud fun uncles and people who really make you laugh because let's talk about cosby oh yeah uh, oh, we are now at his one year anniversary of his prison release and he's celebrating apparently so what he was hmm. released he mm-hmm. was released yeah why uh, what? Health issues? It was a technicality no, over the yeah. prosecutor or DA saying, we're not going to charge you for this. Right, right. Yes, or thank something. you. So right. what he ha- brought up I the quaaludes you, what and What happened used it. is that the Pennsylvania, I think it was the DA in Pennsylvania, or this is part of the reason he's out. They, they deposed him and they said, uh, if you we depose you, we're not going to use, we can't use any of this in a court of law. It was for a civil thing, I think. Mm-hmm. And so he was like, all right, I did this stuff, you know? And then like a year later, they went, hey, we got this deposition of him saying we did this stuff. So they tried to do it based on that. And then at some point, oh, it got so overturned. Oh, so a mistrial. Yeah. A kind of a mistrial. Well, he was in prison for two and a half years. Yeah. So one year anniversary. One year anniversary. And he's doing something that... I'll allow it. You know, I hate when people say they're breaking their silence, but we haven't really heard from him, so he's breaking his silence. I think it counts. In a video posted on his spokesperson, Andrew Wyatt's Instagram page, uh, Cosby, who's 84 now, uh, talked about being asleep in his cell on June 30th of last year when he got the news that he'd be freed immediately. Here's a clip of him recounting that moment. And I suppose, no, 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 you don't understand, you're afraid. I said, what is it, June 10th? <laughs> but men were not left. Murderers, rapists, bank robbers, white people, all colleagues, <laughs> associates. They were all clapping for him. Can we said. film him in a you know, lawn chair on terra firma. Do we have to be rolling down the highway? Well, here's the the thing. They, his guy, Andrew Wyatt literally flipped on the phone as they were loading him into the car to take him home or whatever. Still with that diaper mask. I'm much more interested in Camille than I am in, yeah. It, she uh, it, has not wavered one bit. But I want to know it's behind closed doors. You know what I mean? Like they have that scene in movies where the politician mm-hmm. is is uh, caught philandering and his wife is by his side at the press conference and it's she Sopranos. supports. And then, yeah, then the door shuts. I got to bail and you like out. Slaps him. Then they, <laughs> yep. they go nuts. Is yep. she, is There's she, no end to your bullshit. Is she it's doing that? I have I I have no idea, but when you hear her speak, she seems righteous. Yeah, she she seems like she's standing by her man in maybe the way you'd stand by like David Koresh. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just like it's been so many years. She's that, in the cult. How not? How can she not believe? That's all she knows. Yeah, like don't believe what you're seeing. Believe what I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. I, it, that's my guess. Mm. What do you think? You think she's I don't know. Get, giving I, him my hell behind my doors? fantasy is uh, to get to all these women right after. Like, I, I want to date uh, Harvey Weinstein's ex. Right. I want to date Camille mm-hmm. after Cosby dies because 
what could I really do? Go up, you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, like they're describing, Brad was describing the China, distressed properties. <laughs> yeah, distressed yeah, properties. Yeah. You're going to get them a in. discount. <laughs> and then, you know, if they try to give you any shit, like a third day in Vegas for a bachelor party, you go, really? You've not seen worse. Yeah. This couple of strippers come by the room. I don't think it's even going to come thing up. To you. I you don't think it about, you mentioned that third day, like have fun. But, yes, but, but I I didn't catch you. He was talking about like he was there with murderers, yeah. robbers, fellow rapists. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hear that again. It was implied, <laughs> and he says he's totally blind. Um, oh really? Yeah, he, it, you know, he, in the in the video we watched, he's kind of looking over at Andrew White, but he says, and by the way, I'm totally blind. So maybe that's him sad fishing. Well, you know, we heard from OJ yesterday in the uh, disgraced icon department. Sure. Is Bill going to be heading out and doing a tour? Golfing? Uh, yeah. I don't Who know. would go? Oh. Who? Oh. What theaters would open? There's people. You think a theater oh. would want him? Absolutely. Really? Listen, Do you think theater uh, owners are the paradigm Louis of virtue? Louis C.K. didn't work for how many years? Yeah, yeah self-imposed. Mm. Listen, Hinkley... That's right, John Hinckley. Had a fucking concert. He can't even play an acoustic guitar. Sold sold, out. Sold out. We can go support (laughs) Hinckley. We can support Cod. We're capable of anything. Well, I guess just in the sense that this will definitely be, this would definitely be his last tour. He's 84 years old and he's not in good health. I think a lot of people would almost, might even treat it like one of those macabre tours of Hollywood where they put you in a hearse and they drive that's yeah. over the oh, yeah. Manson family yeah. Dude, I did slept that. in that. I did that. Oh, you the, did it. The Dearly Departed tour. I did, did it. it. When? Well, Christy signed up for it. My wife signed up for it. This was four years ago and they put you in a, in a thing with the whole macabre like this is the spot where the Black Dahlia no. was last seen. No. Glad it wasn't 13 years ago so it was like timed for the announcement of your tumor. Like, that was hey. really rough. That's how they tell me. How the worst was, wedding proposal. So this was the onion field where the uh, shooting took place? Or yeah, what was it was uh, Black Dahlia uh, River Phoenix by the um, Viper, uh, Viper Room. Viper Room. They, you know, there's a Hollywood thing. And you sat through that, huh? Mm-hmm. It, was, it was educational. Oh. I, I learned stuff. Wow. Christy was a little more into it than I was, but for it was at the very least, it was Hollywood history. Interesting. Right. Um, also, you know he wouldn't be doing jo- he doesn't do jokes anymore. Everything. Oh, he doesn't. He, well, rem- wasn't Pull the up last your pants. one? He he sits on a uh, bar stool and shames everyone mm-hmm. in society, which. Uh, well, yeah. I, I respect <laughs> that. I respect <laughs> that. Well, <laughs> listen. We stopped shaming people and look, look what we what got. Happened. Look what happened. Uh, Bunch of fat people wearing yoga pants to right. the mall you're right. and traveling with their dogs. You're absolutely right. So when the shame <laughs> stops, I blew up. That's absolutely true. Mm-hmm. Um, so, oh, we went to the Chateau Marmont. We did the whole thing. Who died there? Uh, oh, Belushi. Belushi. Oh, in, a, in a bungalow. And that, by the way, was the very first time I'd ever set foot on the property. It's uh, There's like a little back there's driveway a back, to like the, the bungalows. Yeah. You know how I'm acutely aware of that. Mm. Dr. Drew and I, when we did our book, shot it at the Chateau Marmont, and we shot... Uh, the back cover of the book is us walking down oh, really? that Ooh, same la, la. street it's behind It's a little it. alley, as you would say, or so a it's driveway. A tight, it's kind of a tight, uh, hilly, streety, yeah. whatever. You you just you you go in and you stay right and you just kind of keep mm-hmm. going and it winds up. So Look I guess he was one, one of those bungalows one of those, yeah. back there. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's talk about Johnny Depp. I think a lot of people over at, uh, the, I assume, Disney – Mm-hmm. Um, we're so, we're sort of sitting on their hands and saying, eh, we don't know if we're going to welcome him back to the Pirates franchise. Let's see how the trial goes. Well, despite rumors, Depp will apparently not return Didn't to the he Pirates. Say he would never return. Exactly. Reports have been swirling that he was given a three hundred one million dollar. Uh, he was given three hundred million dollars to reprise his role as Captain Jack Sparrow, even though he had said during the defamation trial he'll never go back. A former Disney exec fueled the fire by saying that uh, post the verdict, there's too much potential box office treasure for a beloved character like that to not come back. And a, a rep for Depp says that's did, completely Did he false. say that from the stand? Brian, do you remember? Because he, he was. Did he say it from the stand? 
uh, I, 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 sworn I, to that, sworn in. Yeah. That sounds you know familiar. I, mean? I, I remember that he said it's not about me coming back; it's about me clearing my name. Uh. I don't think he he kind of like wanted to. He did. He said like I'm not doing that for money. I'm not doing that to go back. I want to do that because I need to protect my right. legacy and my my history. And he followed but, through. But here, here's the thing: I I've I've read so many reports about Depp in in the franchise, especially in Tyrants of the Caribbean. Pirates and Pirates. <laughs> but again, English is a second language. Pirates of the Caribbean is that they actually they would put um, yes. head like uh, earpiece, uh, earpiece and they kind of feed him his lines. Well, he kind of like stopped like reading or knowing his lines anymore, and he was just like you know. But that came up in the trial too. Yeah. And one guy said, "Yeah, he's so out of it. We have to feed him his lines." And then another guy said, "No, no, 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 no. Like I swear, he likes to listen to music because it puts him in the right nah, mindset." Yeah. So that the guys that was literally the only reason they brought this guy. He was, was like all, a recording specialist. Uh, but, but, by the way, am I am I the only one who's a little bit pissed that when the Johnny Depp and uh, heard trial, there was another trial that was going on and nobody was taking it, like Maxine, you know, the Maxine, oh, the, the, the yeah. guy with oh. the Epstein. She just had, she was got handed 20 years yeah. mm -hmm. and nobody was following that trial. No. And I think that is a much more important I, trial. I agree. This. We talked about it on the show. I yeah. talked about it with attorney Mark Garagos. I was thinking if it would be funny if Depp was on the stand and they were asking him about the earpiece and his what is his attorney like spoken yeah. to himself, don't, I was like, don't answer, answer that. that. <laughs> not answer that. To, to plead the fifth. I mean, if, if attorneys had any That's sense right. of humor That's whatsoever, yeah. I would definitely I would Lean definitely yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then Depp will say like, okay, objection. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Well, there, there will be no reason to have to guess what happened during the trial because Lifetime, God bless him, they're oh. making a movie about the trial. Casting has already secretly begun. Actors called into audition are forced to, of course, sign a non-disclosure agreement. Uh, entertainment reporter Roger Friedman, writing for Showbiz 411, said actors are strictly not allowed to talk about this at all. Transcripts from the defamation trial are being reviewed. The movie's not supposed to be like a rip from the headlines. It's supposed to be like a statement for statement like movie about what happened. So they're basically just reenacting it. It, it, it's it's weird. It's not HBO. It's Lifetime. Yeah. Is it, it going to be a Christmas movie? That's a great uh, that's question. Right. <laughs> that's a great question. I like that. It's a Christmas movie. We should start a we should start a rumor that like kind of like we we're talking about the Onion or some some place like that or Babylon B that um, the Hollywood community is demanding that um, Johnny Depp be played by a man of color. And oh, see, and see if it got if it could find its way to Sean Hannity or something. Just That's start funny. a fake a fake great. thing. Oh, yes. I think they the would outrage. buy it. They will do it. Yeah, Laura Ingram would be on that night. She'd be outraged. <laughs> yeah. By this, uh, should we make it Depp or should we make it Amber Heard? Oh, Depp and woman of color with the long hair. Mm -hmm. There should be a woman of color. The, the no, I, you, you right. know what would be an incredible cast for that movie. Will Smith for Deb and Pinkett Smith. Oh, oh, for yeah. Deb. oh gotcha. whoa. you and have done it. There's precedent because the kid already played the karate kid. Yes. So oh, they absolutely. have a history of swapping okay. awesome. ethnicities. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's such a good Will idea. and Pinkett together. Well done. I would watch that shit. <laughs> Will and Jada. Well, we're going to get David <laughs> Schwimmer or something. Is that, <laughs> and then for He's no reason. He's going to be in this, right? And then He's got to be. And, gotta and be. then as they are like at the end of, this, of the movie, the finale scene, for no reason at all. Chris Rock comes in and just like, what's this? Oh, <laughs> that's, 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 this is a different movie, but I like it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> all right, let's do one more, Gina Grant. Okay, well, let's end on a sort of happy note, a little depressing for me. Uh, I got a lot of feelings wrapped up in this. Dolly Parton is getting into the Airbnb business by renting out her 1986 tour bus, which is inside Dollywood. For a two-night stay. Now, this was tweeted to me a million times. I'm a big fan. And I said there, there's no amount of money that would keep me away from this. Um, I was wrong. Uh, the cost for the two-night experience is $10,000. 
Mm-hmm. Um, it's like Do- a Star Wars hotel at Disneyland. But mm-hmm. Dolly, but because it's Dolly, she said a lot of that will go to her foundation, the Imagination Library. Now, here's what you get She's for talking about It's an makeup. imagination cause. <laughs> it's, an imag- <laughs> it's an imaginary cause. <laughs> Here's what you get. And again, the the bus is on the property in the amusement park. Mm -hmm. So you get a two-night stay for two guests in the bus, a guest room that sleeps up to four additional guests inside of Dollywood's Dream More Resort and Spa Uh with a view of the bus and a, quote, impressive dining experience. Now, she also had a longstanding, um, what's the thing in uh, uh, Brea, the Javelin, Medieval Times. Medieval Times. She also had something down there for a long time called the Dixieland Stampede which is basically the same thing but with the north and the south oh really oh, but wow. I think they ended up changing the name to just the stampede because it was not oh, they PC like anymore like the Dixie Chicks are just the chicks now exactly yeah, yeah. so yeah. this this is for like a two night stand yeah two night stay in oh okay two, two nights okay sorry in, Do- in Dolly's 1986 <laughs> boss and we spent a lot of time at uh, medieval times <laughs> they don't strike me not a lot of vegans <laughs> I know uh, that it's place. all turkey legs yeah. and tomato I, soup it's yeah. it like uh, broccoli yeah <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing from what my understanding because I've still never been at the Dixieland Stampede are you on the north side or the south oh. side and you're cheering for your guys yeah can you imagine like cheering for the south that's what I'm saying it's <laughs> like kill those black people <laughs> there's, yeah, that, there's no black families in that uh, audience I think but there's got to be some in the kitchen <laughs> and they cannot be oh. happy yeah well that, that's, about, that's okay, it, okay, okay here's inside, the thing yeah. you know have you heard about like what Airbnb just did like two they, days ago yeah they banned parties. Yep. So oh, if you have good. something like this and you don't have a party, what what's the use? That's a very good point. Yeah, they they're no because more that parties. That screams party. That screams kinky. And there's a cross. <laughs> there's a cross. There's a cross over there, <laughs> over the bed, wow. mm. which screams kinky. <laughs> Now, basically, <laughs> researchers have figured out, much like you did with your vegan diet and inflammation, if you can put a crucifix within three foot of a bed, jacking off goes down 71%. So when there's a lot of felt and a lot of rentals, yeah. put that uh, cross up. you put that cross up I and get it. masturbation goes down a full 71%. I disagree. Stat. I think it's, exerci- <laughs> it's exercise the semen out of you. It's just like, oh, wow. put that oh, up. Oh, yeah. Linda Blair, oh, sure. It's like in, yeah. the, in the name of Christ, <laughs> the get out! Come you Silence of the Lamb. <laughs> oh yeah, throw uh, it at uh, Starly Clary. Well, here I, I'll say this: that mo- most people cut down on masturbation, but there are a handful of people who triple down. Right, and they maybe more than make up for it. Uh, okay. Awesome is okay. talking okay. about. Uh, can mm-hmm. I speak about masturbation for a second? Police. Okay, so do you know? I'm sure that you heard about Dr. Kellogg, the, no. Ki- the Kellogg series. Oh yeah, we've Kellogg. talked yeah. about that. I'm that sure you heard about that. That's be- why it was beca- because he did the, the Kellogg because he thought that there was there was uh, there was kind of a, uh, an endemic of syphilis. Mm-hmm. So and he thought that syphilis was brought by a lot of masturbation. Mm. So the only way to kind of hinder masturbation is to give them bland food. Mm-hmm. So give them cereals, and and this is why he thought that circumcision actually helps with that. So he actually, because of Dr. Kellogg, cir- circumcision became a mainstay in American practice outside of the Jewish faith. Right, because at that right. time, only Jewish and very so- little amount of Muslims in mm-hmm. America at that time did circumcision. The only reason why America, a Christian country, have circumcision for Christian kids is because of Dr. Kellogg. That's am- and I think he was a Seventh-day Adventist, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we- and, and, it, and, and it went to England... Mm-hmm. And then it dropped out of favor because it was not covered by health insurance oh anymore. Oh, my God. But here it is. So here the doctors get $1,000 for, for like a two minutes procedure for a circumcision. And you know what they do with the, with the, with the skin? I do, but go I ahead. They, yeah, they, they, they give it to plastic surgery people for grafts. They use that for graft, for skin yep. graft. So it is sold for a lot of money. It's a cottage industry. Oh. And, and, and it is crazy. It is. And I know what and else I they did. And I didn't know what they did with <laughs> it. No, sorry. And Dr. Kellogg, sorry. Dr. Please. Kellogg wanted to continue. Kellogg. Like okay, Kellogg, 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 sorry. So, so, yeah. Kellogg, sorry. Battle Ke- Creek, Kellogg. Michigan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kellogg. So he wanted to continue that practice to women. So he proposed chemical circumcision no. for females. But thank God people didn't catch up on that. 
So what stayed was the male circumcision, and we are there with the fake health benefit of circumcision. It's not. It's wow. just. Wow. Yeah. I. Uh, well, the, the other yeah. thing they do with baby foreskin is they sell it really expensive as a serum yeah. to women, and you put it like under your eyes. It smells really weird. I tried it, but um, if it works, it works. So I, uh, so so basically, women get jizz on. Their- <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I, I wouldn't call it an obsession, yeah. but uh, <laughs> certainly an emphasis on <laughs> semen flying through the air, boss. And maybe you should talk to someone about that. That's all. I'm no, I'm not a clinical a psychologist, fixation. but I do know when something's wrong. I'm sorry, I, I kind of mentioned that like three times in a minute. Maybe you're on the jizz spectrum I, 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 or something. I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not fully <laughs> enthralled in it, but on the spectrum. No, I was thinking about Howie Mandel, who had the Moyle come to his house circumcise his child and then as with tradition bury it mm, in the backyard mm-hmm. and then he explained his dog dug it up and oh ate it so uh, good luck with lunch gina <laughs> all right let's bring it home you got it i'm gina grad <laughs> and that's the news don't believe what you're seeing believe what i'm telling you gina, gina. Oh, that was the news with gina grad well, speaking of plugs, I'm going to be in New York at the stand July 20th, and uh, Mark Norman's going to be there, and Chris DeStefano, or DeStefano, I should say, is going to be up on stage. That's two, a good crew. Two really funny comedians, yeah. so uh, look forward to that. And uh, July 15th, 16th, going to be at the Blue Room Comedy Club in Springfield, Missouri. We'll do some shows there, stand up and live pod. Bossom can be found at the Miami Improv July 29th and 30th as well and you can shoot him a tweet at B and I'll spell it Y-O-U like you S-S-E-F did I get yeah. that right boss? Yes. Always good to see you my friend and until oh and uh, Brad Thor as well Rising Tiger name of that book until next time this is Adam for Brad and Bosom and Gina and Bald say it Mahalo I, we were like going out in the beach and, whatever, and I just did that just to mess with them. And then everybody went silent. And they're like, all right, let's let's just watch the game. <laughs> yeah, it's offensive. And you know, did you know there's a word for the th- going out into public and doing those really sad posts? What is it? It's called sad fishing. Sad fishing? It's a mm. real like term. Like catfishing. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Oh. That's, I never heard that. That's a that. real term for it.